everyone, I hope you are all well. If you haven't met me before, I am Amy and I will be your yoga teacher for the day. And if you're here all the time, then welcome back. This is going to be a fun, twisty, bit strong, bit stretchy. I feel like that's the description for all my yoga classes, but I guess it's true. So if you are ready to get your yoga on, come and join me on your mat. If you do make it to the end of this practice and you enjoy it, then please leave a comment letting me know what you thought. Give it a big thumbs up so I know to make more like this one and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a class from me. And we will be starting this class down on our backs in a Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined butterfly shape. So bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees drop out wide. If the hips feel a bit resistant to this shape to begin with, you can always find a little bit of movement through the knees, through the hips. Give things a little wiggle. You might get some clicks and some pops in the hips as they open up and then you might be able to soften them down into your Supta Baddha Konasana a little bit more easily. I like to bring my hands onto my inner thighs here, but you can always Rest them down by your sides, or maybe one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Whatever feels most comfortable, whatever is calling to you right now. Taking a few minutes to get ourselves settled into the practice. So you've arrived here physically, but you might be occupied with something else mentally. Maybe you're thinking about the past, thinking about the future. And we will connect to our bodies to help draw us a little bit more into the present moment. So notice any sensations that are present for you in the body. What parts of the body feel spacious and open today? What parts of the body feel a bit more tense and tight and need a little bit of extra care and attention from you in this practice. Here at the start, find the places where you can soften, let go of any need to hold yourself up, any need to clench your muscles, feeling completely supported by the surface beneath you providing that stable foundation so you can then soften and relax, melt into the earth. Now let your awareness move to your breath, wherever the breath is most noticeable for you right now. That might be the nose, the mouth, throat, chest, stomach. Let the awareness drift there and stay there for a few inhales and a few exhales. Notice the quality of the breath, the pace of the breath, the rhythm of the breath, the depth of the breath. Are you breathing in and out of the nose? Are you filling up the belly, the ribs, the chest with every inhale? Are you releasing all of the breath with every exhale? Are your inhales and exhales roughly similar in length? Does one breath flow seamlessly into the next breath? Finally, a moment to check in with your mind, noticing whatever's going on up there today. If it's busy and filled with thoughts or if it's a bit more still and quiet. And there's no right or wrong answer, just a moment to observe and notice. Just a few more breaths here in stillness.
if they're not already, bring the arms by your sides, bend the elbows, palms face up, cactus arms. Tap the right knee to meet the left knee, find a little twist. Open the knees back out through center, take them over to the other side. Keep it going, opening through center, then finding the twist. Taking it nice and slow, easing yourself into the movement. The next time the knees come to the left, pause there for a few cycles of breath. Just a gentle twist here to begin with. Maybe bring the left hand onto the outside of the right thigh, guiding the legs a little bit further into the stretch. Big breath, fill the right lung, the right ribs, the right chest. And then soften that right shoulder into the floor. Unwind back through center, drop the knees over to the other side, settle in for a few deep breaths here. Maybe notice how taking a big deep breath brings a deeper stretch in the left side. Open back through center, extend the left leg long, hug the right knee into the chest, hands interlace around the shin, Find some movement with that knee from side to side, left to right, circles, anything that feels good. Keep hold of the right knee, lift the left leg off the mat, extend the legs straight up towards the ceiling. Rock yourself back, see if you can come up to seated, keep the left leg hovering, keep the right foot hovering. Rock onto your back, come back up, hover. One more time, lower back, Come up, hover, pause there. Tap the left heel down, lift it up, tap, and lift three more. Tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift. Drop the left foot down, drop the right foot down. Take a big breath in, reach the arms up. Big breath out, hands through heart center, left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Find the twist. And then once again here, five times, lift the left foot and lower, lift, lower, lift for three, two, and one. Drop it down, inhale, reach both arms up, look forward, exhale, left hand on the floor behind the left hip, right hand to the outside of the left leg. Press the right knee in towards the right arm, lift the chest high. Then extend the right arm forward. As you breathe in, lift the hips off the mat, come onto the soles of the feet. Exhale, sit the hips back down. Two more like that. Inhale, lift the hips, lift the heart. Exhale, soften and release. One more time, breathe in, bring it up. Breathe out, sit yourself down, bring both hands behind you, fingertips point to the back of the room. Cross the left ankle over the top of the right knee for a seated pigeon pose. Keep the legs as they are. Breathe in, lift the hips into reverse table. Breathe out, tap the hips back down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. One more time, lift up and then pause. Keep the hips lifted. Uncross the left ankle, extend the legs straight out in front of you. Tap the left heel to the floor, lift it up. Four more, tap, lift, tap, lift, last two, tap, lift, last one, tap, lift. Cross the ankle, back over the right knee, push the hips up one more time, and then sit yourself down, walk the right foot in a bit closer, push the chest onto the legs, deepening into the stretch. Imagine like you could draw the left knee towards the top left corner of the mat. Keep the left foot nice and active, flex the toes back towards the knee. And notice if you're rounding like this through the shoulders, see if you can draw the shoulder blades together, lift the chest high. Uncross the left ankle, bring it onto the floor, feet in line with one another. 
bring the hands to the heart, tap the fingertips over to the right, back through centre, over to the left, back through centre, tap the right elbow, lower down a bit further, back through centre, left elbow, little bit further. See if you can tap the right shoulder blade to the mat, lift it back up, tap the left shoulder blade to the mat, lift it back up, lower all the way down onto the back, straighten the right leg, hug the left knee in, second side, once again, find some movement, mobilize the hip, anything that feels good on this side. Lift the right leg off the floor, extend it up towards the ceiling, three times, rock up, catch the balance, feet hover, legs hover, onto the back, rock it back up, one more time, rock it back, rock it up, pause, hover, breathe, tap the left foot down, and lift, four more, tap, lift for three, two, one, lift, lower it down, drop the left foot to the floor, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, hands to heart, right elbow to the outside of the left knee, find the twist, keep the chest nice and open, then five times, lift the right leg, lower, lift, lower, three, two, and one, drop it down, inhale, arms up, exhale, twist to the right, right hand to the floor, left hand to the outside of the leg, and extend the left fingertips forward, and three times, breathe in, lift the hips up, reach the left arm up and over, breathe out, sit yourself down, inhale, lift, exhale, drop it down, one more time, big breath in, big breath out, sit yourself down, both hands behind you, right ankle over the top of the left knee, push the hips up as you breathe in, reverse table, tap the hips down as you breathe out, inhale, lift, exhale, soften, one more time, breathe in, lift, hold, Kick the right leg straight out in front of you. Five times, tap the heel, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift. Last two, tap, lift, tap, lift. Cross the ankle over the knee, push the hips up one last time. Soften the hips down, walk the foot a bit closer, walk the chest in a little bit closer. Keep that right foot active as you push the knee away from you. Earn cross the right ankle. This time cross over at the ankles, roll over onto hands and knees, tabletop position. Stack the shoulders over the wrists, the hips over the knees. Spread the fingers, press the floor away. Big breath in, drop the belly, lift the chest. Big breath out, press the floor away, round the spine. Keep it going, inhale to open. Exhale to round. One move flows into the next. Open with every breath in. Round with every breath out. Keep it going, adding on some extra movement, maybe moving the spine in circles or from side to side. Getting the hips involved, getting the shoulders involved, making the movement bigger, more expressive, more expansive. Maybe come back to a child's pose, forwards towards an upward facing dog. Anything that feels good working out all of the kinks through the spine. Eventually make your way back to neutral, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, extend the right leg straight out behind you, five times, tap the toes down, lift, tap, lift for three, two, and one. Keep the leg lifted, pulse for 10, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee, tap the knee towards the right shoulder, right wrist, shoulder, wrist, shoulder, wrist. This time squeeze the knee to the nose. Step the foot through between the hands, low lunge. Find some engagement through the legs, draw the right hip back slightly, the left hip forward slightly. Notice the sensations in the hips. Then breathe in, reach both arms up. Breathe out, hands through heart center. Inhale, reach the fingertips high. Exhale, gather it in. One more time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart, twist to the right. Left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Notice if that right knee starts to collapse in, press the knee back into the elbows. Maybe look back over that right shoulder. Keep the hook of the elbow. See if you can straighten the right leg, point the toes up to the ceiling, half split with a twist. Rebend into the knee. Bring the leg towards straight. Rebend it, drop back to the lunge. Last time, take it back, half split. Bring it forwards into the lunge, keep the twist. See if you can squeeze the left heel in towards the left glute. Maybe you can even tap the right elbow with the left toes. Drop it back down, squeeze it in, drop it down. One more time, tap the elbow, maybe. Keep it squeezed in, unwind from the twist, hands to heart center, then reach the hands behind you to grab hold of the left ankle. Interlace the hands around the ankle, kick the foot into the hands to open through the chest, draw the shoulder blades together, drop down into the hips as you lift the chest up, take a big breath in, and a big breath out. Inhale, reach the arms up, drop the left toes down. Exhale, hands to the floor. Kick the right leg straight out behind you. Keep it hovering, one-legged table. Extend the left arm straight out to the front of the room. Keep the limbs straight, but five times. Tap the toes and the fingers to the floor and lift. Tap, lift, three more tap lift for two last one tap lift hold here breathe in breathe out drop the hand drop the knee to the floor give the hips a little wiggle a few circles pause notice any differences between the right side and the left side notice the effects of your practice Second side, lift the left leg off the mat, extend it straight behind you, tap the toes down for five, lift, four, three, two, and one. Lift the leg, bend the knee, tap it to the left shoulder, wrist, shoulder, wrist, shoulder, wrist, knee to nose, step it through, oh nearly fall if you're like me, <laughs> low lunge, once again engage through the legs, imagine like you're squeezing a piece of paper between the inner thighs, not completely collapsing into it, big breath in, reach the arms up, big breath out, hands to heart, two more like that, inhale fingertips high, exhale gather it in, Last time, big inhale, big exhale, hands to heart, twist to the left. Press the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Imagine like you're trying to bring the center of your heart towards your thumbs. Then three times, work the left leg towards straight, half split. Rebend into the lunge. Straighten and bend. One more time. Straighten. Rebend. Keep the twist. See if you can squeeze the right heel in. Maybe tap 
the left elbow with the toes. Oh, big cramp in that left leg. Drop the toes back down, squeeze them back in. One more time, drop them down, squeeze them in, keep it squeezed. Unwind the upper body, face forward, reach the hands behind you, grab hold of the right ankle, kick the ankle into the hands, open the chest up, sink the hips down. Reach the arms high, drop the toes low, hands onto the earth, kick the left leg behind you, one-legged table, reach the right arm in front of you, five times, tap, lift, tap, lift for three, two, and one, lift, take a big breath in, Breathe out, hand to the floor, knee to the floor. Once again, take some circles through the hips. Send the hips back towards the heels. Walk the hands forward. Take a few breaths in child's pose. Lift the hips away from the heels, restack the joints, tabletop. Tuck under the toes, lift the knees to hover a few inches above the mat, floating table. Lift the right leg, extend it straight out behind you. Tap the toes down for five, four, three, two, one. Step the right toes back into floating table. Second side, left leg extends, tap for five four, three, two, one, drop the toes down, wave the hips up and back, downward facing dog, hips high, press the heart back towards the thighs, take your dog for a walk, pedal out through the legs, wiggle the hips from side to side, Find movement through the shoulders, the head, the neck, anything that feels good. Adding a twist, reach the left hand to the outside of the right leg, maybe the calf, the ankle, wherever you reach. Bend into the left elbow to pull yourself a little bit further into the twist. Look under the right armpit. Then maybe add a balance. See if you can lift the left leg off the mat, maybe just a single centimetre, or maybe you can sweep it up into a three-legged dog just on one hand. So I guess it's a two-legged dog, not a three-legged dog. Wherever you are, take one more big breath in. Breathe out, drop the hand back, drop the foot back, reset, second side. Right hand to the outside of the left leg, draw yourself into the twist. If that feels like enough, stay there or maybe play around with lifting the right leg off the mat, sweeping it up as high up to the sky or maybe just a tiny single millimetre off the floor. Breathe in, kick it a tiny bit higher. Breathe out, soften the hand, soften the foot, back down to the floor. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, sweep the right leg high, three-legged dog. Breathe out, tap the right knee as high as you can up towards the right shoulder. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, tap the shoulder. One more time, inhale, kick it high. Exhale, squeeze, pause there. Take it to the wrist, shoulder, wrist, shoulder, wrist. Squeeze the knee to the nose. Step the foot through in between the hands. Find your alignment, then breathe in. Reach the arms up, high crescent lunge. Breathe out, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, gather it in. 
One more time, big breath in, big breath out, hands to heart, twist to the right, hook the elbow to the outside of the knee. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Keep the hands at the heart, unravel all the way to Skandasana at the back of the mat, bend the left knee, straighten the right knee. Maybe point the toes of the right foot up towards the ceiling. Maybe add a bind, wrap the left arm around the left shin, that's the word. Bring the right arm behind the back, maybe the fingertips meet one another, open through the chest. Unravel from the bind if you've got it. Bring the right hand down, lift the left arm up, come onto the right toes, easy twist. And then lift the right hand off the mat, reach the right arm forward, the left arm back. Revolved crescent lunge to the back of the mat. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep the arms extended wide, spin all the way into a warrior two facing the front of the mat. Maybe that was an elegant transition, maybe it wasn't, doesn't matter. Right arm forward, left arm back, bend the right knee. Inhale, straighten the right knee, press the palms up and overhead. Exhale, bend, drop the arms down. Two more, inhale, arms up. Exhale, drop it down. One more time, bring it up. Take it down. This time, keep the right knee bent. Inhale, find reverse warrior. Sweep the right arm up and back. Exhale, bring the hands to the mat. Frame the right foot. Step it back into a floating plank. Right leg stays lifted off the mat. Then five times, tap the right toes down, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift. Last two, tap, lift, tap, lift, keep it lifted. Hook the right toes over the back of the left heel. Then wave it back into downward facing dog with the toe hook, use that to draw the left leg, the left heel even closer to the floor. Release the hook of the toe, drop the right foot down to the mat, reset before the second side with a big breath in and a big breath out. Inhale, sweep the left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, left shoulder. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, squeeze in. One more time, big breath in, big breath out, squeeze and pause to the wrist, shoulder, wrist, shoulder, wrist, to the nose, step it through between the hands, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, hands to heart centre, inhale, take it high, exhale, gather it in. One more time, breathe into reach, breathe out, twist to the left hand side. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Hands stay at the heart, travel all the way to Skandasana at the back of the mat. Bend the right knee, point the left toes up. Maybe wrap the right arm around the front of the right shin. Bring the left fingertips to meet the right fingertips behind the back. Roll the chest and the shoulder open. Release the bind, left hand down, right arm up, come onto the left tip toes, easy twist to the back of the mat. Lift the left hand off the mat, reach it forward, extend the right arm back, revolved crescent lunge, breathe in and breathe out. Keep the arms extended straight by your sides as you spin all the way into warrior two, facing the front of the mat, left knee is bent, look out over the left fingertips. 
Inhale, left leg straightens, palms meet overhead. Exhale, drop it back down. Two more like that. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, sink it down. Last one, big breath in. Big breath out. Keep the left knee bent. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step the left leg back. Keep it floating for a one-legged plank. Shoulders over wrists. Tap the left toes down and lift. Tap, lift, tap, lift. Two more. Tap, lift, tap. Keep it lifted. Hook the first and second toe over the right heel. Wave it back, downward facing dog. Feel whatever you're feeling. If it's in the right leg, if it's in the shoulders. Find the sensations, find your breath. Unhook the toes, drop the left foot back to the mat, downward dog, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, come up onto the tiptoes, bend the knees, press the chest back towards the thighs, then exhale, step, hop, jump, float your way to the top of the mat, forward fold, big toes touch, a little bit of space in between the heels, bend into the knees, drop the hips low, reach the arms high, Utkatasana chair pose. Take a big breath in, breathe out, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, gather the energy in. One more time, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, hands to heart, twist to the right hand side, left elbow to the outside of the right knee, but keep the knees in line, so don't let one knee creep forward. Bend the knees a little bit lower, drop the hips a little bit lower. Lift the left foot off the mat, squeeze it in towards the glute. Drop it back down. Stand onto the left foot, keep the twist, lift the right foot off the mat, bring the right knee up with you. Look to the right hand side, pause there. And then keep the hook as you slowly, slowly, slowly. Drop the right foot back down, keep bending the knees, lift the heels off the mat so you're in a toe balance with the elbow hook twist. Then option to play with an arm balance, bringing the hands to the floor on the outside of the right leg, right knee to the back of the right arm, right knee to the back of the left arm, right hip to the back of the right arm, there we go. So you can lift the legs up onto the arm, maybe lift the feet off the mat, maybe straighten the legs, have a little play around. Wherever you are, if you're in an arm balance, bring yourself back down, unwind, bring the hands back to the heart, come onto your toe balance with the hands at heart center, Keep the left knee lifted, tap the right knee to the mat, lift the right knee back up, tap the left knee down, bring it back up, tap right, bring it back up, tap left, bring it back up. One more on each side, tap the right, lift, tap the left, and lift. Keep the heels lifted, reach the arms up overhead. Come all the way up to standing on the tiptoes. Lift the heels high, high, high as you can. And then drop the heels down, bend the knees, chair pose, hands to heart center, second side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Two more, breathe in, reach. Breathe out, gather it in. One more time, inhale, reach. Exhale, gather it in, twist to the left hand side, right elbow to the outside of the knee, hips low, knees bent as deep as you wish. Ground through the left foot, lift the right foot, squeeze the heel in towards the glute. Drop the right foot down, keep the elbow glued to the left knee. 
as you come up to stand on the right foot, bring the left leg up and with you. Find a tall spine, stack the head, the heart, the hips, the knees, the ankles. Keep the elbow glued to the knee as you gently lower the left foot back to the floor. Keep bending the knees, lift the heels, sit down on the heels, toe balance with a twist. Maybe play with the arm balance, bring the hands to the floor on the outside of the left leg this time, bringing the left thigh onto the backs of the arms, maybe lift the legs, the feet, straighten the legs, have a little play around with any arm balance that you fancy. If you're flying, unwind, come back to centre, hands back to the heart. This time, keep the big toes touching, open the knees out wide, tap the knees back together, open them back out, tap them in, open them out. One more time, tap them in, keep them squeezing together, reach the arms up, press yourself all the way up to standing on the heels, lift them high, 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 high as you can, and then drop the heels down, Bring the hands to heart centre. Turn to face the long edge of the mat. Step the feet out wide. Toes point out, heels point in, hands at heart centre. Give the hips a little wiggle from side to side. Then breathe in, reach the arms up. Breathe out, bend the knees, bring the hands to heart centre. Inhale, arms high, legs straight. Exhale, drop it back down. One more like that. Inhale, scoop it up. Exhale, gather it in. Pulse the hips for 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause there. Lift the right heel off the mat. Drop it down. Lift the left heel off the mat. Drop it down. Lift both heels off the mat. Pause and breathe, drop them down. Straighten the legs, turn the heels out, turn the toes in, come down halfway, hinge at the hips, push the hips back, reach the crown of the head forward. Then soften the hands to the floor, fold down in between the legs, Prasarita Padottanasana. A moment to just enjoy the shape. Give the hips a wiggle, bend through the knees, move the upper body, anything that feels good. Opportunity for an arm balance, an inversion, if that's in your practice, take anything that's calling to you. If you're in an inversion, make your way back down. If you're in the fold, find a flat back, halfway lift, palms onto the floor. Keep the left hand down, open the right arm up, find a twist, reach the right arm high. Bring the right hand into a fist, take some circles with the wrist. Switch direction of the circles. Spread the fingertips out wide, bring the right hand behind the back, reach it towards the left hip, the left thigh, use that grip to roll the chest and the shoulder open. If you want to take it deeper, bring the left hand underneath the left thigh, bring the right fingertips to meet the left, bind under the left leg. Release from the bind, second side, right hand down, left arm up, left hand into a fist, take some circles. Switch direction. Spread the fingertips wide, bring the hand behind the back, find the bind on this side, half bind or maybe Go a little deeper with the right hand under the right leg. Clasp the fingertips, roll the chest open.
release the bind, fingertips back down, halfway lift, then come all the way up to standing. Turn the heels in, the toes out, ignore my mat making funny squeaking noises. <laughs> then take a big jump and land in a malasana at the center of the mat. Hands to heart, press the elbows into the knees, open the knees out wide to the sides. Lift the chest nice and high, draw the shoulders nice and low. Bring the right hand down, open the left arm up, find the twist. Back through heart center, over to the other side. Back through center, over to the right, this time option to add a bind. Left arm behind the back, right arm around the front of the leg. Then if you're feeling up for another little challenge, you might see if you can step onto the left foot and lift the right foot off the mat, bring it up with you, come up to standing, squeeze that right leg in, point the right toes down towards the floor, keep the chest nice and open, maybe wobble everywhere, that's fine. Then if you came up, slowly, like I pressed the slow-mo button on you, if you had one, Deliver the right foot back down to the floor, back to your malasana, hands back to the heart, open to the other side. Same options apply, maybe bring the left arm around the front of the left shin, right arm behind the back, clasp the fingertips. Then maybe rise up to stand on the right foot, carry the left knee with you, Lift the chest, lengthen the spine. Slowly, 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 gently deliver the left foot back to the floor, release from the bind and then soften the hips down onto the earth. Open the legs out wide into your seated straddle. Take a moment to get yourself set up. Point the toes up towards the ceiling, lift the chest, stack the head, stack the heart, stack the hips. Bring the fingertips to frame the right leg and then five times, lift the right heel and lower. Lift, lower, lift, lower, last two. Lift and drop it down. Five times, see if you can lift the hips. Lower, lift, lower, lift for three, two, and one. And now, see if you can lift everything off the mat. Lift the hips, lift both legs, and then soften yourself back down. Walk the hands to fold down over the right leg. Melt the chest down, soften through the upper body but keep the lower body nice and active. Point the toes up towards the ceiling. Make sure that the thighs aren't rolling in. As you hold the shape, maybe you can soften down into it a little bit deeper. Roll your way back out of it. Plant the right hand behind the right hip. Reach the left arm straight out in front of you. Hopefully I'm not gonna headbutt the wall here. Three times, inhale, lift the hips up, reach the left arm high, reach forward, soften yourself back down. Inhale, lift the hips up, exhale, lower. One more time, big breath in, lift. Big breath out, sit yourself down. The wall kind of got in my way, but we lived, it's okay. Second side, fingertips frame the left leg five times. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift for three, 
two and one. Drop it down. Lift the hips for five, four, three, two and one. Now maybe lift everything. Then drop it down, walk the hands forward, frame the left leg, soften into the stretch. Take a few big deep breaths. Feel the belly expand with every breath in. Let everything go on every breath out. Roll your way back upright as you bring a big breath in, plant the left hand behind you, extend the right arm forward three times, lift the hips, fill the lungs with breath, soften the hips back down. Inhale, sweep it up, exhale, soften. Last time, big breath in, big breath out, sit yourself down. Bring the hands straight out in front of you and this time see if you can lift both legs off the mat. I just know this is gonna burn the quads so much, but lift and lower for four, three, two, and one. Drop them down, see if you can lift the hips. Lift and lower, lift and lower for three. Oh, this is hard, two, <laughs> should have said do it three times last one lift then maybe keep the hips lifted lift the feet off the mat oh my gosh drop it down the cramp is real <sighs> then maybe stay upright or maybe have a little sway as you fold your way down in between the legs again make sure that the feet stay active pointing up towards the ceiling and the legs stay Rolling out as you soften your way into the stretch. Nice, big, complete, deep breaths. Draw yourself back upright as you draw your next breath in. Bring the soles of the feet together. Let the knees drop out wide, but walk the heels nice and far away from you. So creating a diamond shape with the legs. Thread the arms underneath the shins and soften down into a nice passive forward fold. So let the head be heavy, let the shoulders be soft. The spine might round here. Releasing the weight of the entire body down towards the earth. No need to hold on or clench or tense any muscles. Let it all be soft. Let it all relax. Draw yourself up and away from the stretch as you draw your next breath into the lungs. Spin yourself to face the front of the mat. Soles of the feet on the floor, knees point up towards the ceiling. Hands to the heart, just like we did at the start of the practice. Tap the fingertips to the right, back through center. To the left, back through center. Tap the right elbow down, 
back through center, left elbow down, back through center, right shoulder blade down, lift up a little bit, left shoulder blade down, lift up a little bit, lower all the way down onto your back, walk the feet in a little bit closer so the knees are stacked above the ankles, extend the arms straight down by your sides, ground through the left foot, lift the right leg off the mat so the right knee is in line with the left, right leg is straight, three times, inhale, lift the hips up, Exhale, soften them down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time, lift the hips, pause there. Cross the right ankle over the top of the left knee. Soften the hips down, reach the hands around either for the back of the left thigh or the front of the right shin for a reclined pigeon. Release, unravel, drop the right foot to the floor. Extend the left leg straight out in front of you three times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Breathe in, push the hips up. Breathe out, soften them down. One more time, lift, hold. Left ankle over right knee, pigeon. Drop the hips down, reach the hands. Wherever they land on the right leg, on the thigh or on the shin, Draw the right leg towards you, push the left leg away from you. Unravel the legs, give both knees a nice big squeeze into the chest. Have a little rock from side to side, maybe round in circles. Maybe pause me, take any other movements that are calling to you. Anything you were wishing that I'd included in this practice, any shapes that you're working on, any other stretches. But if you pause me, you have to promise that you will come back for your Shavasana. That's our deal, okay? So take any other movements that feel good. And when you're ready, eventually make your way into your final resting shape. Down on your back, any shape that feels comfortable to spend a few minutes in stillness. So this stillness is just as important as the movement. We move our bodies to bring about physical benefits and to challenge our bodies. And then we find stillness to bring about mental benefits and to challenge our minds. So join me for a few minutes, be still, be soft, find some peace. Let go of any tightness in the body, find that tightness, replace it with some lightness, some softness, some space. Nothing to hold on to, nothing to cling to, let it all go. Same applies in the mind, no need to cling on to any thoughts, just let them drift by, let them appear. No need to resist them, but no need to cling on to them either, just let them appear, let them drift by like a cloud in the sky. And let your breath drift by however it wants to go. Soft, slow, smooth. Just a minute or so in stillness and silence.
if your mind has wandered away somewhere else, it's drifted into the past, drifted into the future. Gently guide your mind back into the present moment. Become aware of your body, your breath, the surface beneath you, the air on your skin, the energy of your surroundings. Start to find any movement that feels good. Start off small, gentle, slow. Maybe a full body stretch, maybe circle the fingers and the toes, anything that feels good. Then eventually make those movements bigger, take up more space, find some expansion through the body. Bring yourself back up to a seated position. Take your time to get there, no rush. Keep the eyes closed if that feels comfortable. Finishing our practice with three releasing breaths, coordinating them with arm movements. As you breathe in, reach the arms up, then sigh it out through the mouth, press the air away in front of you. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, press the air, sigh it out. One more big breath in, fill the lungs, the chest. Exhale, let it go. For the rest of your day, I hope that you think peaceful thoughts. I hope you speak peaceful words and I hope you feel peace in your heart. Thank you so much for choosing to share your practice with me today. I am so blessed to have you here with me. If you did enjoy this practice, like I said at the start, I would be really grateful if you could take just a minute to leave me a comment letting me know what you thought, subscribe so that you can join me in my next class, um, give it a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed it, but most importantly, I hope that you have a wonderful day and I hope that I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.